Alright guys, so in this video I will show you how to install FSR4 XSS frame generation into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I waited this long because the upscaler didn't actually work properly on Final Fantasy before. It had a lot of problems like the Christmas lightning issue and other bugs. It wasn't usable, so I waited and uh, yeah, it was worth the wait. Before I waste your time and your hard drive storage, this will not work on GTX 10 series cards and RX 500 series cards because they don't have the capability to run this game. But for GTX 16 series cards, we do have a workaround to bypass the DirectX 12 ultimate requirement. For RTX 20 series and up and AMD RX 6000 series and up cards, this will work because those GPU have DirectX 12 Ultimate baked in. For AMD RX 5000 series cards, I don't know if this will work, so you guys will have to test it yourselves. So if I run the game right now to show you, you get this message telling you that the game can't run because GTA 16 series doesn't support DirectX 12 Ultimate. Let's see how we can fix this. Open your Final Fantasy VII file location. Then go to End, Binaries, Win64. This is where you install the OptiScaler files. The installation process is kinda complicated, but I dumped it down. So all you need to do is copy the files and you are done. Now if you have an RDNA 4 card, download both files. If you don't have an RDNA 4 card, this file alone is enough. Open the downloaded file and extract everything into the game folder. For RTX cards and RX 6000 series and up cards, Open the optiscaler.ini file and search for D3D feature level. Set it to auto. Since your cards support DirectX 12 Ultimate natively, you don't need the bypass. For GTA 16 series cards, you don't need to change anything here. Save the file and exit. Now if I open the game, you can see I don't get any errors and game is working. If you have an RDNA 4 card, you can use this file. This is the official FSR 4 file. The one we used before was the leaked version, but this is for RDNA 4 users only. Extract it to the game folder and replace the file. Once you are in game, go to options and graphics. You scroll down and under anti-aliasing, you will see DLSS enabled. And under DLSS frame generation, 2x is enabled. So I enable the FPS overlay in OptiScaler so you can see performance. And ignore these uh, texture pop-ins and freezes. The game is installed on a hard drive, not an SSD. Right now I'm getting around 36 FPS. To open the OptiScaler menu, press the insert key on your keyboard. So as you can see in the OptiScaler overlay, we are using DLSS 4 and it's actually working pretty well. To use FSR4, choose FSR3X here and click change upscaler. It might freeze for 5 to 10 seconds the first time, so be patient. If the menu tells you to restart to apply proper XCFG settings, restart the game. To activate XCSS frame generation, tick the active box. Now I'm getting around 60 FPS. If you don't want the FPS overlay, go to the FPS overlay settings and untick it. You can also increase sharpening to make the game image cleaner. After that, click save INI. Super smooth gameplay, no ghosting in the HUD, no Christmas light bug, nothing. You will see some occasional stutters and again, my game is on a hard drive, not an SSD. I'm also using relatively high graphic settings. And the game didn't even officially support my GPU. But I'm playing at pretty high settings with 70ish FPS. That's amazing actually. So that's it for this video. Until the next one, adios amigos.
everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Guess you really are the best there is. near the village and they're not nice what do you think i think i got this then they're all yours copy that This is how it's going to be. There doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. 